What up, guys? We are wrenching today. Not doing anything but wrenching. We are going to wrench on the TRX4M. We're going to put some hop ups on. Uh, yeah. And I'm just going to chat with you guys and hang out with you guys. So I had my my Cal RC pit mat, which is freaking awesome right here. Look. But as soon as I put it on there, see, it makes everything else dark on the screen, which is lame. So we're just not going to use it. Let's see. Guys, tell me where you're from while I get started here. Because I think I'm going to start with the thing that's I'm most curious about. I'm going to install this. Um, these are the hardened axle shafts. So if you guys hear women screaming in the background, it's because my wife is having a girls' night out there. And yeah, it's getting getting pretty rowdy out there. What up, Cody? What up, Roman? Hayden? Washington, Tennessee, Chicago. Rochester, New York. I used to work in Syracuse, New York, believe it or not. Um, and I spent a lot of time there. Once a quarter, I'd go up there for a while. And, uh, yeah, it was a good time. So I have not a clue how these hardened drive shafts work, but we are going to find out. I put all the part numbers that I'm installing in the description. Oh my god, there's a lot of little parts in here. All right, so this is what this comes with here. Looks like we got some out drives, which don't look like they go in the front. And then these look like they go in the front. And then some CVD stuff. All right, so I'm assuming we take this off, maybe? Yep, that's how you do that. And then maybe we take this... From California, I'm from the parks. And come on, Owen, we know where you're from. Actually, I don't know where you're from, but I know that you're not from the unknown. Eric Lindeval, what's up? Oh, dang, we already got 79 people on. Jerry Whitworth, man, it's been a while. How you been, bud? I was at the RC Pro Series Finals at uh, Thornhill. Missed you there. Oh, maybe this is the front where it goes. Okay, so... This drive shaft just comes right out like so. Here's the old drive shaft. And then this is the new hardened drive shaft. Which um, I'll be completely honest here. Um, not seeing much of a difference. I guess one is like a little bit. I, I, I don't know. But we're putting them on because, because we like to party. Got me some utter butter. Use that on these drive shafts here. Build the CVDs. I just kind of dab it in the utter butter there. And then Oh, he was working at Coda. Any chance you could tell me your favorite techno A scale car? Right now, my favorite is the uh 84.1. I mean it's NB48 2.1 is my current favorite. Hold on, did I just lose something? No, I didn't. It's right here. Um, I just got done ripping mine at uh, Lone Star. I did way better than I thought I was going to do. But there's every once in a while, I just have weekends where I'm, I just feel so connected to my car. And that was this, this past weekend at Lone Star. And uh, I ended up putting both my cars on the podium, which it's been a while since I've done that. Man, these freaking pins are small. Come on. Oh, my God. There we go. All right. There's one in there. So we just put this in here like so. There you go. Put it in there like so. There, one side is installed. But I'm not gonna lie, these hardened drive shafts don't look that different than the stock ones. 
Bill's method wheels look so good. Thanks, man. Here you can see. Ah, no, just drop there. There's the method wheel right there. I did get vlog of the Lone Star. That vlog is coming out Friday. Ethan ran his car. He ended up getting, he put his car on the podium after qualifying in the B. He bumped out of the B and put his car on the podium. He ran really good. He worked on his car all weekend. Um, he struggled in the first two qualifiers. He got it together and then just, he just ran great. So yeah, Ethan did good. All right. I want to make sure, you know what? We're going to go ahead and take this off the steering link too. Since we're already here, we're going to go and take this off. And I can tell if I'm steering good. Any chance you get the worthy of the method bead locks without, without tires on them and fully assembled? Um, I don't know what that means. Oh, the weight. What is the weight of those method bead locks? Um, I don't have a scale here with me, but they're they're not that much heavier than stock. If that helps. I don't know if that helps or not, but they're not. I shouldn't be doing this. I'm kind of going off here on another tangent. Nick Gray, what's up? Fern Solo, what's up? TD Hobbies, what's going on, bud? Not much over here. We're just doing some wrenching. I figure I wrench live. Talk to you guys while I wrench. Uh, I've been looking forward to working on this car so much. This car is just so much fun, I think. So, yeah. Who has a TRX4M? Brett says, Diesel says, hi. Tell Diesel I said, what's up? No brass inserts. No, I do not have brass inserts. However, um, I have another Bronco. Remember, guys, I have a Bronco, a TRX4 Bronco. And I do plan on doing a build there. And that build does have brass. So I will be doing that soon. Trying to get some upgrades for mine. Says Jacob. Um, let's see. I still, I just, I don't see how the hardened ones are that much different. I guess they're, like I said, they're just a different color. They're like a lighter color. I'm trying to even feel, oh, like, here's the difference. This is the stock. This is hardened. I can't tell. I can't tell the difference. I don't know if this is an upgrade that's needed. However, this is an upgrade we're doing. <laughs> it sounded cool. That's a good enough reason for me to put it on my car if it sounded cool. That's all I'm saying. All right. CBD is built. Going in. It's in. This guy. It just taken off. Billy Crow, thanks for the super chat, man. Oh, yeah. Big shout out. <laughs> thanks for the super chat. Uh, super chats are greatly appreciated. Appreciate it big time. Um, I hope everyone's having a good holiday. I know I haven't been doing that many Christmas like the Christmas vlogs, and, um, you know, I just, I mean, they're fun. I mean, I will admit they're fun, but I'm trying to do more stuff that I want to do, and honestly, I like to do these builds. We got a few more builds coming up to the channel that are going to be a lot of fun, so make sure you stay tuned. Uh, as I'm putting this together, I'm looking at the bushings. A lot of people are asking me, um... Why I don't do bearings instead of bushings because, I mean, yeah, bearings instead of bushings because I actually like bushings on mine because I might actually run mine in water. And I have ran mine in water already. And when you run it in water, um, it's a lot easier when you're running bushings instead of bearings. So 
And I'm not going fast, so you don't really need that crazy speed or anything like that. All right. The front hardened drive shafts are put on. Now I'm going to go and put on this steering link, this guy right here. Oh, man. And then I got to put on the servo. I knew it. It's super cold in California right now. Jason, John, what's up, bud? Um, here, I'll open this up in front of you guys because I'm sure you want to see me open this cool stuff. These are packaged so nice. I bet. I bet. A lot of these, the packaging probably costs more than the actual part. Let's see. Looks like we got some... Ah! This side. Honest Redneck, thank you for a super chat, Mr. John Coleman. John, thank you for all the help at the uh, Slash series. I uh, greatly appreciate it. John ended up staying back and helping out with everything going on in the Slash series. So that helps so much. You guys have no clue. So thank you so much. Um, I don't know. Oh, look, let's see. This comes with an instruction manual. The plastic one looks like the spacer goes on the bottom of the car. It goes on the bottom. All right, so spacer goes on the bottom. I'm gonna take the servo out too. My God, I'm all over the place. I should have done this stuff one at a time, but I figured since I was already here. Okay, spacer goes on the bottom. Is this the same size? I think so. Oh my goodness. It doesn't help that I got these gigantic freaking hands. Come on, get in there. There we go. No, I did it the wrong way. Dang it. Guys, this is no joke. Here we go. Um, this way, this way. Come on. Come on. Freaking A. This is not easy. From Hawaii, what's up? There's got to be an easier way to do this. Probably this way. Yep, it's got to be the easier way. Kind of. Golly, this is not easy to put on. Got it. Whew, that was tough. Feel free to fire off some questions if I can catch them while I'm doing this. I run mine in water. I coat my bearings with a, a light coat of marine grease. It has worked for me in the 10 scale. I'm assuming 10 scale one. So far, so good in the smaller scale. Yeah, that's a, not a bad idea. Um, okay, this, I don't want this that tight. Back this out just a little bit. Yeah, that's not a bad idea at all to put some marine grease on there. What is that guy for? A servo, maybe? Servo horn. I'm still on the drive shafts, or the axle shafts, and I haven't done that. I haven't done those yet. 
but I was I was on this. I had the steering link right there, and I had to take the steering link off anyway. So I went went ahead and decided to do the aluminum steering link. All right, aluminum steering link is on. I still have to do the servo. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the drive shafts and finish those up real quick. Yes, I got flush cutters. I got the Protec ones. Protec ones are awesome. All right, there we go. We got some red on there. Just tighten this down and loosen it up. All right, that's good. Now let's put the hexes back on. The drive shafts are going to be so much fun. Do you guys hear that? All the commotion in there? Freaking. All right. Let's see. Get this one in. Okay, front drive shafts are done. I did not do the servo horn yet because the servo horn is going to require that new servo mount. Freaking A. Let's see, what else we got? What servo are you using? Uh, I'm using the stock servo. Those are not teenagers. Those are, uh, that's my wife and her friends being loud out there. Here are the method bead locks. You guys want to see those? Chris Scott, thanks for a super chat, bud. Appreciate it. Chris Scott ran the uh, MSM SSRS. Are your factory shocks leaking? Mine are a bit. Um, I mine have not been leaking, but I highly doubt that I've been ripping them as hard as you have with the uh, with Ethan. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, mine aren't leaking yet. Chris, good evening. How's it going? Honest redneck. You're welcome. Congrats on Indy and Merry Christmas. Thanks, man. John Coleman. Thanks, bud. All right. I think these will just come right out. Maybe these will just come right out like... No? They won't come right out? Why won't they come right out? There's nothing on the other side keeping it in there. I don't see why this would not come right out. That's bothering me a little bit. Um, why will this not come right out? I don't see anything keeping it in. Do I just pull really, really hard? I think that's what we're doing. That's what we're rolling with. This could be a disaster. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a disaster for sure. You know what? I think I got to take this out. Why didn't y'all tell me? All right. So you have to take these screws out to get this out, I think. The bushing out. I almost broke it off. Seriously. Oh, 107 people on. Chris Johnson, how's it going, bud? Now, oh, see, that's what gets it out. So you have to take those screws off. Um, okay, so here is the rear axle shaft. This is the stock. This is the new hardened one. So the new hardened one is just it's a little bit lighter. I almost broke my TRX4M just now, guys, because I was just cranking this thing as hard as I could. All right. Put these screws back in. The cool thing about TRX4M is it only uses, so far I've only used a 1.5. We are moving. SCX24 or TRX4M, what was better? Uh, 
I am a sucker for upgrades, guys. Like a big time sucker for upgrades. So I like anything that has crazy upgrades. And the TRX4M has some crazy upgrades. Yes, please, everyone hit the like button. I would greatly appreciate it. Billy, talk to Bobby today. Talked about some upcoming races. Billy, are you going to make it out to uh, sick? Where did Mother's talk one go? All right here. Just getting an RC. I have a slash tool drive. That is a perfect first car. If you're just getting an RC, you will have so much fun with that car. Slash tool drive is a great vehicle. My my MSM spec slash racing series was literally based on that car. That was the only car you were, I ran in it. Fred's toy chest said the TRX4M is way easier to work on. I mean, TRX4M is easy to work on. <laughs> I have, man, I have a whole bunch of SCX24s, though. I have two Bettys, and then I have the Chevy, and then I just bought, I just bought the uh, the Bronco, which is funny because I bought it before I knew that the TRX4M was coming out. So... All right, that was back, that's back on. I think these pins are the same, so. I probably need like little tweezers or something. Do you know if there are portal axles for the TRX4M? Um, no, these are not portals. I don't know, I don't think they make them right now. I, I'm sure all different types of people are going to be making some cool stuff with this thing, though, soon. Sorry, I'm trying. I'm all have it where you can't see it. My bad, guys. Yeah, let me know when I can't when you can't see it. All right, I'm going to put the extra parts back in here. Why do I have an extra pin? That's kind of scary. Do I have an extra pin? Let me put these drive shafts in here. My God, this is a huge bag for these little bitty drive shafts. Oh, we'll just put them in here. All right, hardened drive shafts are installed. They all fit in this little itty bitty bag. Put it all this way. All right, we're moving on. We are moving on, guys. We got the the axle shafts, drive shafts installed. What do you guys want to do next? Let's do go and do the servo. Billy Crow, thanks, man, for the super chat. At this time, we are not racing at sick. Maybe down to watch on Sunday. Okay. Man, Eek RC said, I wish it had a two-speed tranny like the FCX24. I'm not going to lie. That is a really cool feature on the FCX24. All right, let's see. We got some screws here. And here is the red servo mount. We're going to go and put that on. I like to save these foam pieces sometimes. They're really good to pad like your receiver box and stuff. Don't all that way. Okay. Let's do this servo mount. I think it's just these screws. What is going on in here? All right, unscrew in the screw. You know what? The shock is in the way. RC Boys, thanks for the super chat. Can we have a shout out? Absolutely, RC Boys. What's up, guys? How are the RC Boys doing? What are you guys driving lately? Uh, the beadlock install was actually in a video yesterday. No, not yesterday, today in a video today so you did not miss the beadlock install you can uh watch the beadlock install 
on the video that I published today. RC boys, what is up? Thanks for the super chat, bud. Appreciate it. Hope you guys are doing swell. All right. Installing this beautiful, beautiful red anodized piece. This is the servo mount. It came with some screws, so. Okay. I think the whole thing, kind of, oh my goodness, the whole thing just drops down. All right, so now we got this going on here. It's very interesting. I think the servo needs to come out first. Oh, ah. I do have flush cutters. Corbin says, hey, I'm 11. I'm thinking about getting the UDR. Is it a good idea? I like the trail. I like the trail truck. All right. So a UDR is very fun. However, it's not a basher. I wouldn't consider it a basher. It's more of like a scale desert truck would be, I guess, the, the correct term for it. Um, it's definitely a cool truck. I, I, why did I why did I snip that off? I didn't have to do that. Because I'm not taking the servo out. Freaking A! But if you want a trail truck, get a TRX4, man. That's that's the trail truck. That is the trail truck. All right, got to get this servo out. Donnie's dad, what's up, bud? Uh, Donnie's dad is actually going to sick. It's the reason, one of the reasons why I was asking Billy because he was wondering if we could pit under the canopy. Um, so I'm still up in the air at sit for sick. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, sick is a Southern Indoor Championship. It's usually the race that I go to, the first big race of the year I go to because it is the first big national race of the year, and it's cool to see all the new people running their new cars. However, I don't know if I'm going to it this year because I want to go to TNR. I've never been to TNR. I think it would be fun, so I'm not sure. Okay. All right. It's kind of a cluster right now. <clears throat> Great. I don't remember which way this thing went. I think it went this way. I think I think I hope come on I hope I don't remember which way this guy went Okay, I think that's the way it went. I think that's right. I think I nailed it. Sorry, I'm missing some. Okay, so we gave the RC boy. I'll give RC boys another shout out. What's up, guys? 111 people on. Donnie's dad, what's going on? Um, let's see. Steve says, how's your XRT doing? It's doing awesome. I can't wait to drive it again. I've been busy. Bill's on. What's up, Bill? Mr. Honest Redneck Dylan. Do people ever build fast crawlers? Is that a thing? There is. I think it's called Rock Bouncers. Um, aerial Engine, TRX4, Axial. Uh oh, Axial Early Bronco are my go-to crawlers. Nice. Uh, what's your go-to basher, RC Boy asks? Uh, my go-to basher right now, my go-to basher is probably either... My sledge, the XRT, and I'm I'm honestly I've been driving the um, the uh, fire team a lot, um, and it's because it went on sale and I, I did buy another one. Uh, Chris Scott, I went ahead and swapped my servo for Metal Gears. It's seen a lot of action in the hands of my youngest, <laughs> in the hands of my youngest, yeah, in the living room. Yeah, I probably should just put uh, Metal Gears in my servo, but I have not yet. If anything, I'll do that. Let's see. Uh, do you think you could do a review of the Traxxas CDR stock? I, I already have. Oh, and the Mojave. I haven't done one on the Mojave. 
Uh, why are we not seeing any shimmies? Man, that I don't know. Is the shimmies pertain to? Uh, do they extend to live renting sessions? Oh wait, I think this came on screws. I guess they do, don't they? Can't really say anything about that. I wonder what so washers for. I like how Traxxas puts Loctite on their on their screws. I hear my dog going crazy in the backyard. I probably should have put Metal Gears in. Now I'm second guessing my Metal Gears. Ah! My Metal Gears in my servo. Or my lack thereof Metal Gears in my servo. My drive shaft popped out, but I don't really care because uh, we're putting new drive shafts in. Honest Redneck asked that I end up getting that custom, the custom hauler, the uh, Earth Roamer. I did not. I did not get the Earth Roamer. I feel like it needs to stay there. Oh, there's, okay, I need to do that. Hold on a second. I need to get this screw. Oh, that's why that nut is there, because the nut is on the other side of this thing. Guys, I am a freaking train wreck right now. This thing is all over the place. All right. Oh, no. I just heard someone in the living room say, let's play cards against humanity. Nothing but bad things can come about. A bunch of grown women playing cards against humanity. Nothing but bad things is what I meant. Oh, you know what I should have done before I did that? Let's take the servo off. I mean, the servo horn off. Dang it. We're going to do that now. I really want shimmies right now. Hold on. I think I did this wrong anyways. I think it goes the other way. Perfect. Okay. Let me put the servo horn on. Servo horn takes a two on. Here. I'll just keep shimmying until y'all feel like I'm caught up. 116 people on. Dang, that's awesome. I should have put metal gears on my freaking servo. Thanks, Chris Scott, for making me be insecure about my servo. Oh, wait. This already has Metal Gears. No, it does not have Metal Gears. I lied. Totally lied. All right. Putting the servo back in. All right, that's good. Now we're putting this back in here. I don't remember which way it goes. I don't know if it goes right to left or left to right. Actually, I know how I can tell. We'll look at it this way. My dog is barking at me through the freaking. The other way. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to pay attention to the live feed, but I do want to finish this car tonight. Because it's going to be so rewarding when we get it done, guys. It's going to be freaking awesome. Everyone is going to. Where? Where? Oh, it's in there still. All right. There's that. Okay. Now we just got to put the servo screw, servo horn screw on. Assuming it's this guy right here. All 
All right, so what we've done so far is we put the hardened drive shafts on, front and rear. We put the steering link on, which I just finished putting the steering link on. Let me make sure. All right, steering link is on. Oh, the steering link is so freaking awesome. Put the servo mount on. So this is what we look like in the front right now. We got the red anodized servo servo mount. See it? Oh, you see it in there? Kind of see it in there? It's like I'm turning it in weird ways. And then I got the steering link in there. Um, we're going to do the shocks. Let's do, go and do the drive shafts. The drive shafts look like they're not going to be easy to get to, which sucks. Hold on. Why is this all coming down here? Let's see if I can get to the drive shafts here. From the side. I can. Okay, we're good. So we're going to take the drive shafts off now. Think of my head in the way? Okay, there. Drive shaft came off. Screws stuck to the motor. Okay. Then. Yeah, I'm, I'm live. What's up? All right, drive shafts are off. Sorry. Okay, let me let me see. Uh, Scrimp said, "Mark, what do you think of Kevin Talbot?" I think Kevin Talbot's freaking awesome. He's like my idol. I wish I could be like Kevin Talbot. Um, I'm a little different than him, though. Like my, just me in general, like the way I deal with RC cars. Like I wish that I had the kind of, I don't want to say carelessness, but like he is has no problem with just sending the hell out of all his cars or is i am very like i like i really like my cars so i don't want to just beat them to hell uh maybe i should but i don't so but yeah i think he's freaking awesome i got no no hate for freaking kevin talbot script says i still love your content though thanks man appreciate it let's see Do you guys hear all the commotion in the back? I'm just curious. If you guys hear it, it's kind of crazy right now. All right, I took a drive shaft off. I don't know which is, this is probably the shorter one. So let's, oh my God, this is such a train wreck. Look at this. That stuff just hanging out. Okay, I think that goes like that. Okay. I don't think this matters what goes where. Okay, there we go. This came with some extra screws here. He ripped. It says, I cannot afford it, but it's fun to just full send sometimes. Um, it is fun to full send sometimes. I agree. But my problem is, is I don't like my cars being broken. And because I don't like my cars being broken, what the heck? What is going on here? I guess these are the ones on the outside. There you go. Yep. Because I don't like my cars being broken, I like I can't let them just sit there broken in my garage. So I have to work on them. So if I full send something, I feel like I have to work on it as soon as I get done full sending it, which is a gift and a curse. Like I don't ever have cars that are like beat to hell. Oh. You know what? I kind of want to Loctite these a little bit more. I had Loctite on it, but should we should we just send it? Yep, we are. All right. These out guys. Sorry, my head's in the way, but I got to get up close to this thing because I can't see it. Okay, so I get this question a whole bunch about how to find swap meets. Guys, I'm I'm not joking. Like, no one, like, I, there's no secret to me finding swap meets. 
Uh, they get posted on Facebook, and I see it. And whenever, like most swap meet guys, they'll actually like do like a marketing campaign, and it will get to me that, through Facebook. Like there's there's really no no secret to me finding swap meets other than the fact that they just pop up on Facebook. There is one. There's one. There's one swap meet page on Facebook, but it's only for the DFW area. Actually, no, it's not. It's called RC Swap Meet, I believe. RC Swap Meet Finder. Hmm. Okay, I got to put the links on because that's the only way these jar shafts are going to stay in, I think. Oh, man. I totally forgot. Ah, guys, I totally missed something. I put this long screw in this uh, servo mount, and it's supposed to hold the links, and it is not holding links right now because I don't have the links on. We are all over the place right now, guys. No. All over the place. Okay. We have to put the links on. This is probably the most expensive, the expensive upgrade, I think. Um, I actually bought, I, I mean, you guys probably know, like, a lot of times, Traxxas will give me some stuff to try out. These I bought. And, uh, yeah, they're not, they're not cheap. <laughs> They are not cheap. I think like 60 bucks or something, 70 bucks for that set of camber links right there or the suspension links for a freaking mini car. All right. Come on. Come on out. All right. Let's get the one that matches this, which should be that guy. All right, let's put it in here first. I'm trying to listen to what they're they're playing cards against humanity out there. It's getting pretty ugly out there. Now, let's see. Sorry. All right, you guys feel free to fire off questions. Like I said, I'll look over as much as I can, but I am trying to focus on getting this sucker on. I can tell you one thing. When this thing is done, it's going to be mega sick. Mega. Ultra Mega. I bought four hundred dollars in a buggy in buggy tires and about in a seven hundred fifty dollar custom works out lost sprint for car for just for oval racing. Uh, Ryan says I have the Max V two, but the Haas looks fun. Uh, I think if you have the Max V two, the Haas is a different kind of fun. It's like um. Uh, it's hard to explain. It's a little bit lighter, so it's a little bit more nimble. But the Max is like, I think the Max is one of the best cars they made. Like, it's so durable. Come on, get in there. Oh, come on. There we go. All right. Come on. These little itty bitty freaking links. Get in there. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right, those links are in. Mark, I have the X Max and the Rustler 4x4 VXL too. Nice. Dude, the X Max. Awesome. I think. All right, guys. So I was going to do a video on this. It's kind of a spoiler alert. My. I think my favorite car, like my favorite car changes pretty often. 
I think my favorite car right now is the XRT. I mean, the XRT is just an amazing vehicle. Amazing vehicle. I think my son just got home. My older son, he was at a church thing. All right, now we got to get these shocks off. I thought I was going to do one upgrade at a time, but it doesn't make any sense to do one upgrade at a time. It's more, you got the front in a million pieces, do the front. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we're doing. All right, I think, let's get these shocks out. Opening these, these are my shocks. Do I gotta put oil in these suckers? I think I do. Got some limiters here. This is 20 weight shock oil. All right. There's definitely no shock oil in it. I don't know who's. Let's see. I'm trying to follow what's going on on the live feed. Sorry, guys. No, this is uh this is twenty weight. Twenty weight is super duper thin. Guys, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. We're gonna try to kick this in overdrive here. Trying to open up my shock oil. Okay. Fill in. Fill in. Oh, my God. forgot how thin it was. I mean, you really need any shock oil. Oh, crap. Like, one drop is like. This is insane. Building these mini itty-bitty shocks. It's like one drop at a time fills this whole. Oh my god, that's like all the way filled. All right, let me, let me see. Right here. Take my time, thanks, bud. I appreciate the non-pressure. There's some air here. Um, does it have full rebound? I guess that's okay. I'm not the biggest fan of full rebound, but Daniel Real Tech asked if I'm sponsored by Traxxas. No, I am not sponsored by Traxxas. I'm sponsored by Techno. Sponsored by Techno. R oh my God! Sponsored by Techno RC, sir. I don't know. A lot of people think I'm responsible. I just like Traxxas, and Traxxas is close to me, so I do a lot of Traxxas stuff. Traxxas is really close to me, guys. I don't know if I could walk to Traxxas, but I can definitely ride the ruckus to Traxxas. All right. There's one shock. I don't know if I like that, though. It's like maximum rebound. Let's see how much oil was in these stock shocks. 
Mark, what oil should I run my UDR on off-road tracks? I mean, there's a little bit of oil. There's barely any. Oh, my gosh, barely any oil in there. Um, I'm going to rebuild these guys because I don't want I don't want all that rebound. I would say 40 or 50, maybe 50 in the front, 40 in the rear. That's what I would run on my UDR if I was going to track it. But, I mean, UDRs aren't typically made for the track, so you got to take that in consideration. All right, I'm going to go almost full rebound, maybe 90% rebound. Oh, that's much better. Much better. <laughs> dyslexic dog. What's funny is Melissa was just asking about you. We haven't talked to Dyslexic Dog or Dan. <laughs> but you have been live lately, so only one reason. But Dan, what's going on? He said, we need more x-ray content. And can we order team hoodies? Yes, you know what? We got to order hoodies. Um, I am going to get hoodies made. So MSM will have hoodies soon. By the way, that shock is so much. Whoa, that shock is so much better. So much better. Thanks for the super chat, dyslexic dog. Mr. Dan, sir, appreciate it. Oh, man. That might be too much, like not enough rebound now. Now it's like sticking. Ah, we're doing 50% rebound. We're learning, guys. See, uh, see how the cap, the uh, shot cap was, the bladder was stuck on there. We're going to go 50% rebound. Just a little drop of oil in there again. All right, hopefully that's better. Adventures in RC says, hey, Mark, nice to see you wrenching on the Defender. I'll be starting my tier for Camel Trophy Defender project tomorrow. Oh, man, that sounds amazing. I really like the green body, so I'm not going to do anything crazy with the bodies. But I think that there is a yellow, uh, one of the guys that works at the uh, the manager of the uh, the Traxxas retail store, he built a yellow Defender, and it looks, oh, yeah, this is way better. Kind of way better. I don't know if I like it, guys. I might just need to broken in a little bit. Went fifty percent rebound. Let's go build another shot. We need to do it on the on the other side too. Man, it's I got stuff all over the place, guys. My goodness. I'm not gonna lie, building mini shocks kind of sucks. There we go. All right, let's see. Favorite RC of all time. I get that question pretty often. Um, I'll say probably um, maybe the e -re the Revo. I really like a Revo. Big Revo fan. Scrimp said, Mark, thank you for reading my comment. That made my day. Absolutely, bud. What's the best part of the hobby? And this is the best part of the hobby, in my opinion. Um, wrenching? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. Like, my favorite wrenching is, like, throw on a movie, put it on my iPad, set it right up here, and just, just watch. Or A lot of times I'll watch movies that I've already seen, so I can just listen to the movie 
I kind of know what's happening in the movie and then I'm wrenching. Like to me, that's my most favorite type of wrenching. Um, I do agree that wrenching is fun. And it is a lot of times what people do that what people enjoy the most about the hobby. Um, but I like draft. Actually, you know what? To be honest, my favorite part of the hobby, you guys are actually probably not going to be surprised, is buying RC. I, I don't know what it is. I love to buy RC cars. <laughs> Brandy says that's a unique date night. I don't know what she's insinuating, but or talking about with it. I imagine it's a pretty funny topic. Oh, let's see. I miss nitro. I can't run anymore with my breathing condition. Oh, man. I'm sorry, bud. Are you ever going to drive the Traxxas drag again? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I will. Okay, let's put these shocks on. Shocks are pretty pimp, by the way. Donnie's dad, thanks for the super chat. Super chats are greatly appreciated. Appreciate it. Um, let's see. Let me get this. let me not cross thread this, Stuart, and then I will get to your comment. He says wrenching is second best. Having a hobby that I can do with my that is a hundred percent the best part about it. It's one of the few things that you can share with your kids. Um, an interest that you share with your kids that you can do it with your kids, and it's a lot of fun. And honestly, for the longest time. I thought about just becoming a pit dad and just pitting for Evan because it was so much fun. Um, but you know what? I really enjoy racing too. I'm not going to give it up. And I'm glad I didn't because I was, I was not, not going to lie. I was getting a little discouraged for a little bit there um, with my performances lately. But man, this past weekend kind of reinvigorated me and uh, I had a lot of fun. So I'm glad I didn't quit and I won't quit. I'm just not a quitter, guys. It's not what I do. I love racing, and I won't stop until I don't like it anymore. Honestly, if it won for – there's actually a swap meet at Indy this weekend. Again, I found that on Facebook. Um, but if it won for the swap meet this weekend and the um, Moonlight Crawling event, I would probably go racing somewhere. That's how much I enjoy racing right now. Are you seeing what the bottom of this car looks like right now? I mean, it is really coming together. It's looking pretty sweet, guys. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, this is just one part. Brandy says that race we saw was really impressive. The three-second spread and the tiny margin for area was great. Yes. So, Brandy and Brett actually came and watched my race. Um, last, I think it was probably Saturday. It was either Saturday or Sunday, but guys, you guys have no clue. Like, so obviously there's classes in, in racing, right? You have your sportsman guys. There's actually beginner sportsmen, and then there's going to be expert slash open, and then there'll be pro. So your pro guys are like the guys who do it for a living, travel, um, get paid travel. I mean, they do it for a living, right? And then there's open slash expert. I personally think, especially at regional races, it is the most competitive class because everyone is so close in skill level. And, uh, yeah, there was one qualifier. Not not one qualifier. Most of the qualifiers, they're separated by less than 10 seconds. So just imagine that. five five For five minutes, it's actually more like six minutes, you're going to have 12 racers that are separated by less than 10 seconds. It's absolutely insane. Um, but it's so much fun. And I like the pressure. It's fun. So. Gonna put the defender on the back of the TRX six on Friday. Uh, yeah, the, they're they're all coming. I don't know if I'm gonna put on the back of TRX six or if I'm going to. I want to drive my Bronco because I have some really nice um, Vanquish B locks on my Bronco right now. And if you guys haven't caught on, I am crazy about Vanquish B locks right now. So I want to drive my Bronco. So I'll probably drive my Bronco. Maybe I'll put the TRX six on top of Charby. That might be a thing that happens. Maybe I'll let my son drive the TRX-6. I mean, the, TR, the TRX-4M. Sorry, that's what I meant. TRX-6 on top of Charby would freaking crush it. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. 
That's insane. Insane. Sorry, I'm not in the middle of the shot. I think the back is going to be a lot easier. The rear of the truck is going to be a, lot, be a lot easier. I'm actually getting really close to being done. So we are going to get done within an hour and 30 minutes. There it is. Hmm. I think these shocks just need to be broken in or something because you know what? We're going to put limiters on it. Did you buy that hauler at Traxxas the other day? I did not. I did not buy it. I probably should have, but I did not. All right, here it is. Here's the front. So the front's all done. Look at that. That freaking looks amazing. Um, but I think, I don't know why, I feel like the shocks are almost like binding up a little bit or something. Maybe they just need to be worn in. But... Yeah, it's weird. One shock is like not, it's like binding more than the other. You know what we're going to do? We're going to put some limiters on it. Opinion on the Latrax pre-runner, my brother wants to know. Um, we have, I have three Latrax pre-runners. I really like them all. However, the motor is hit or miss on those things. Like you might get a good one, you might not. Um, so we have three of them, and we have two that still run because the motors are blown. Uh, granted, you can just go get another motor. That's not that big of a deal, which is what I probably need to do. But, I mean, just full disclosure. Look, it's like this side is binding up. I don't like it. Guys, I want to take the shock back off. I think we're going to run full rebound on these suckers. I think that's what we're going to do. I should have just kept it the way it was. Mark had a blast meeting you at Traxxas. At the Traxxas store this year, I finished my Nitro Drag Slash. It's fast. Awesome, bud. Awesome. Yeah, man. It's nice meeting you at the Traxxas store. Uh, oh, God. Come on. All right, full rebound now. Golly, this is this should have gone way faster. Sorry, guys. But we're learning. So even if you think you want to run fifty percent rebound, run full rebound on the on the shocks. Let's see. Can we have a shout out, please? It really helps. Build with art. Build with the RC boys. Yeah, I, I think I gave a shout out to RC boys earlier, but build with the RC boys is on. Big shout out to build with the RC boys. All right, that's much better. Full rebound is the way to go. What is your favorite build that you have done? I'm not just saying this because I run for them. My favorite builds are track or uh, techno builds because they're just they're just so easy. 
Um, everything goes in really well. Uh, the build is very seamless. There's not like a lot of questions or parts that don't fit good. Um, they're freaking awesome. So I really like techno builds and I am so used to building them. I can pretty much build them without the manual now. So that's another reason why I really like them. All right. There we go. Make sure there's no oil on here. Much better on the shocks. There's the front. Okay, let's do the rear. How are we doing on time? An hour and five minutes. I have an X-Max. I'm thinking about an XRT. Is it worth it to spend money on? Are they about the same? They're not about the same. Um, I think they're completely, they're two completely different driving experiences. I would say that you're not really missing out. I mean, you're not, I won't say you're not missing out. Um, the, the X max is to me just as fun. Um, but the XRT really fixes the things that are wrong with the X max, like the bucking of the rear, whenever you hit jumps, um, the flexing of the tires, things like that, that the tires on the XRT are freaking awesome. So. I don't think you were missing out, but yeah. All right, we're getting close. Let's see. All right. Let's get moving. Actually, let me do the drive the the drive shaft first. No, please don't make me do that. Oh no. I think I have to take the uh the battery tray out to get to the drive shaft. This is kind of a mess over here, isn't it? Sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. Will you be... Oh, man. That guy just asked the question that I was hoping would not be asked because I'm having a hard time doing it. Um... Andrew Morales says, will you be ten attending Chris Nelson's TNR Fuel A-Main Challenge in January, California? That is what I would like to attend. That is the reason why I wouldn't be going to um, SIC. So I really want to attend that race. However, I, I don't know any I've – never, I've never actually traveled to California to stay there. I've, like, done layovers in California. So there's a lot of unknowns for me in California. And uh, – yeah, I'm not sure. Four minutes says, Mark, I think you should start a drag racing series. Oh, man. The problem with me promoting races is not that I don't like promoting them. I do like promoting them. Um, but I want to race them. And I don't like promoting races that I run. So if I'm actually running the race... Uh, or promoting it, I'm not going to run it. So it's hard for me. I don't think I'm at the point where I need to be a race promoter yet. I'm still wanting to just be an attendee or a participant of these races. Let's see. We love Mark in California. Thanks, man. I'm a 70s. And I do need an appearance in Cali. I heard that there's a big basher group out there. Chris told me about you guys um, at the big old basher group. I would love to get out there and uh, hang out with you guys. And if I did go to TNR, I would want to stay there for like, you know, a week or two to just hang out. Maybe go check out some local hobby shops, buy some cars, do some bashing, uh, those kind of things. So, guys, in all seriousness, please let me know. Shoot me an email at uh, merch at msmblog.com, my merch email, and let me know what races are in your area because I don't want to go to the typical races that I usually go to next year. I want to do more local races, meet some new people. Um, that's kind of my goal. So let me know where I need to go. I'm going to build these shocks because once we get these things off, we're going to need a 
Mark, will you sell any of your RCs? No, I don't really sell many of them. I don't really sell any of them. I give them away. Um, which, speaking of, I, I give away, I gave a whole bunch of cars away. I gave five freaking FMS cars away not that long ago. Um, and I do give away to, like, my the general audience, but I do give a lot away to my Patreons. Um, I know some people get frustrated with me caring about Patreons, but, man, my Patreons care about me. They really, they really support me, and I really, really appreciate it. So it's just a little token of uh, my appreciation to those guys. Oh, God, that's a lot. Dang it, I probably shouldn't have put that much. Damn it. But we are going full rebound like we did on the last one. Will you please make a vid on the Baja Ray 10 scale, please? I Actually, I've, I've already done one of those. North Georgia Peach State Classic. Um... So if I'm going to be in the Georgia area, I kind of probably want to do a race time event. The race time guys, they're like a family to me, seriously. And uh, not that that race wouldn't be cool and I have, I've never been to it, but yeah, I'd probably do... A race time event, but I'll, I'll I'll definitely run that past Melissa. I definitely want to go to Savannah. That's a hundred percent sure. Did you give away a sledge, or was it a scam? That was a scam. So the scammers, let's talk about scammers for a little bit. The scammers are out of freaking control, and I do my best to stop them, but there's nothing I can do. I don't contact anyone through any like weird app like Telegram or something like that. And that's how these scammers are contacting you guys. Um, and then they'll say, also, they'll say that you won on a comment on one of my videos. But it's not me. It, they take my picture and they they impersonate me. But it's not me. And the way you can tell is just click on their profile. Click on their picture. And if it goes to a page that has my picture with no subscribers, then you know that's not me. Um, Ford Man, yes, I would love to come upstate New York to race. I... For the, I used to work in uh, Syracuse, New York, uh, next to Rochester, and um, there was a track over in Rome, I believe, Rome, New York, that I, I think it's called CRC, something like that, that I always wanted to go to, but every time when it was closed, and I would, I would swing by there, <laughs> believe it or not, on my way to Turning Stone. Oh, that shock doesn't that shock did not mount the way I wanted it to. And yes, I got shock oil everywhere. Finn said, Will you make more vids on the TRX4 Bronco? 1979 TRX4 Bronco. Yeah, man, I love that truck. All right. Can you keep me informed of events? I can keep you informed. Yeah, please do. What's up? First time checking in. Do you know of any place to check out an Iowa for tracks and stores? Yeah. So one of my uh, my my MSM team manager, uh, Jason Weddle, he actually lives in Iowa. So that's another place that I need to go to. All right. These are perfect. All right, disregard all the oil stains. You should do a Mario Kart brushless RC. <laughs> that would be fun. If you guys are just joining in, I'm just building my TRX4M right now. I'm not going to start cleaning all this up until... All right, let's see. It is time. Man, why do they got 
be so loud. How can I progress my RC channel? You know, I got lucky. First off, I release all the time. Um, that helps you progress your RC channel. But the reason why I got lucky is, believe it or not, COVID helped me a whole bunch. My channel really took off around COVID time. That probably is no surprise to everybody because when COVID hit, everyone was at home. No one did anything. So they watch YouTube a lot. Um, but it takes time, man. Uh, and I, I, it's funny. I get one of my pet peeves is when people hear that I do a YouTube channel. They're like, oh, Mark does it? Yeah, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. Like they think that it's so easy. Like it's just this easy thing. Like, oh, here's a YouTube channel, right? Uh, but what they don't see is, um, I mean, I don't stop working. Like even now. This is fun, but it's really kind of work, right? It's part of me doing my YouTube thing. So it just it's it's a lot of hard work. And I'll say this, I would I would kind of consider my channel success I would consider my channel successful for the RC world, right? And um it's not as is, I, mean, I would say it's awesome. I mean, I enjoy doing it. I just want to do it. It's not as, as uh, glamorous as it seems. But yeah, it's um, it's brutal. All right, got those off. Got the screws off. Got the shocks ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this off here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them on here first. I think all these are the same. But to answer your question on how you progress your YouTube channel, you just have to release, keep releasing videos. And you'll eventually release one that has good hits, and then you'll get more exposure. But YouTube does reward people who work really, really hard. So if you're like, if you're seriously releasing every day, you're gonna get more hits, guaranteed. But yeah, like my mom was talking to someone the other day, uh, one of her relatives or like family friends. And my mom was telling her that I'm a YouTuber and she was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. So they were literally calling me, like asking me how to set up, um, set up their account and like how they already have these ideas of them cooking and stuff like that. And I'm like, man, it, it's not just like that. Like you can't just. It's not as easy as everyone makes it out to be. And it's so funny that people think it's like that. What am I trying to do here? Let's go ahead and put this one in. Uh, let's see. It says Finn Ro Rover. Rover. Anyways, Finn R says, can you give my channel a shout out? Shout out to his channel. Go check out his channel. What size Vanquish rims do you put on your Bronco TRX4? 1.9s. I don't put 2.2s. A 1.9. seems like there's more 1.9 options. And, uh, that's what they come with is 1.9, so that's why I stick with 1.9s. Oh my goodness, they are going rowdy out there. We're almost done, guys. This is insane. This is going to be a cool build when I'm done. All right, so... I think now we just need this guy. Oh, 
Come on. Get in there. I'm so close. Are you going to do a vid on the pink rims? Um, so they're purple, and no, I'm not opening those things. <laughs> those are limited, unless I have, like, the perfect paint scheme for those, which I don't at the moment. Those ain't get opened. Opened? They're not getting opened. Did I really just said opened? Really, Mark? Who says opened? Uh, merch at msmblog.com. M E R C H at msmblog.com. You can also send that mark at msmblog.com. Any of those two. Um, Chester asked if I'm going to do bearings on my TRX 4M. I did address that earlier. Um, no, I'm not doing do. I'm not going to do bearings because I actually do drive mine in the water. So, no bearings for mine. Oh man, we're so close. So close. MIP tools are the best. They're good tools. I have I before I got picked up by ProTech, I had so many MIP tools. And you guys know I kind of buy like 50 of everything if I really like it. And MIP tools are really good. Um what is that screw for? What are those two screws for down there? They are good tools. I'm kicking myself in the butt. For a while, they released a, a black set of these tools. And I didn't buy them. I should have bought 100 sets. Actually, I take it back. I think I did buy them. And I ended up selling them, believe it or not. Oh, Joe, he said battery tray. No, I already put the battery tray back in. I think they were the screws. I don't say I don't even freaking know what they're for. I have not a clue, but we'll find out here in a little bit. Maybe for the steering, the steering link. All right. Do you guys hear that in the background? I gotta know. Cause they are as loud as can be. I'm about to run out there and be like, y'all need to be quiet. I'm on a live feed. I would literally get beat to beat to a pulp. There was some extra screws. This looks like I don't believe you sold. I I think I had a set of black ones. I know it's a hard thing to believe. Oh no, did I strip that out? I think I did. I'm just, like, I'm just gonna stop screwing them in. I know that's a hard thing to believe, but I think I did. I think I got maybe I didn't. Maybe I didn't. I think I got a, a a full set for a while. They sold the complete set of standard or a metrics. And I think I got that set and I still have that set. So maybe you're right. Do they make red aluminum skid plates? Because if they do, yes, I definitely need that. Do they, do they make red aluminum skid plate? I am going to do a Bronco build also, guys. This is just the first of 
two builds I'm going to do. I'm almost done with this one, by the way. I can see the end. Look at the bottom of that. Can you see that? That is freaking insane. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Holy smokes. It's got the steel drive shafts. The red links. Oh, my God. That looks so freaking good. Look at the front. The aluminum servo horn. Oh, my God. That is sick. RC boys, you're very welcome. Said thanks for the shout out. Holy smokes, that's sick. Okay, this is a train wreck. I got to get a hold of all this stuff. Let's put these links all together. Put the drive shafts all together. I think these screws, they went somewhere. Man, I got a whole bunch of extra stuff here. I'm not sure what's going on. All right, let me put, look at this. Oh, my God. I'll let y'all just kind of just look at, oh, wow. Well, I throw all this stuff away. So I will do a follow-up video on this build and just kind of show everybody how it turned out after getting it all put together. Um, we are done. It is completed. I gave a shout out to all my Patreons in my uh, my chat in the description. Also, shout out to uh, oh, also all the part numbers that I used for this build. But man, I, what are all these screws for? Oh, these okay, those are for my wheels. Let's put the wheels back on. I'm going to do this right. I love this tool. This is a little Huddy tool. Comes in. So, what do I sound like a snake? Comes in so handy. I feel like the servo is going to have a hard time turning. Oh my God, they are getting rowdy out there. Jacob, you're going to bed. Good night, man. I'm almost done. I'm about to sign off myself. Um, someone asked if you should do a live feed. Just do a live feed. If people join, they don't join. If they don't, they don't. Who cares? You're doing it because you enjoy it. That's why I do it. Um, I, for, for a while when I did my live feeds and usually when I do live feeds, like with Melissa, not just wrenching live feeds, I usually have a pretty good amount, but for a while I was in live feeds, I was getting like 360 people on. It was crazy. But thank you to everyone who joined today. Last minute. I announced it today. You guys joined. We were pretty much at over 100 the entire time. And all we did was just chat. Oh, my goodness. Okay. We're going to fire this sucker up. Because I'm curious to know if my servo is good. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's done. Okay, here it is. Boom. Servo mount. Red. Under it. All red. Oh, my God. This thing is super sick how satisfying is that look at that the drive shafts everything it's so perfect oh my my god dude this looks freaking awesome the only thing i need now which these method bead locks are cool i wish they had actual aluminum bead locks but man this car turned out freaking sweet let's put the uh, light kit on i'll also go ahead and just do it all up here. Oh, man. Dude. 
beautiful. Look at this. Holy smokes, guys. Oh, I love it. Anyways, yes, it's done. It is complete. Um, I will be doing, again, I'll be doing another build on a, on the Bronco, um, but the Defender is done. Maybe I need to stiffen the springs a little bit. I kind of always thought that. Um, yeah, the Defender is done, and it is freaking sweet. So thanks for joining, guys. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. Uh, thanks for all the Super Chats, guys, who gave Super Chats. Uh, thanks for just joining in and hanging out. I had a lot of fun. And I'll do this again. I'll do this again whenever I do the Bronco build. And I will do a follow-up video on this one to kind of show it off. And we'll go drive it around and have some, some fun with it. Actually, the video will probably be probably be the Moonlight Crawlers event, which Moonlight Crawlers event is uh, Friday. Um, Friday at Irwin Park in my area. If you're in the area, come check it out. Looks like it's going to be a beautiful day. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys. <laughs>